Hey, Gemini gang. Happy Sunday, you guys. Let's see what's going on. Oh, wow. And we saw this in the last reading. The death. Okay. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We saw that in the last read. So, Gemini's. And this could be an ending of anything, of, of any kind, okay? Could be a change, could be someone that's needing to change uh, because death is inevitable. A lot of times people have to be forced to change um, in order for it to happen. Courage. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. I don't think I need to read Courage, I'm not sure. And I'm seeing peace on the bottom. I know I've never read Death before. But I'm not sure if I've ever read Courage before. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. I have the book here. Okay. So let's look at Courage. Um, okay. I'll read Courage because it's, it's actually very short. Okay. All right, so for courage, you need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to honor your own power. Yes. By listening to your inner voice and following its advice, you are acknowledging the perfection of your intuition. Fear is only an illusion, and obstacles are great opportunities for you to demonstrate that coming from a place of love will conquer all fierce disguises. Perhaps you are changing career paths or entering or exiting a relationship. This test has been put before you because it is an opportunity to prove to yourself that you and only you can make the correct decision. By not taking that step forward, you may find yourself two steps back, only to face the same obstacle again. Well, <laughs> death is literally on the next page. So I find that very interesting. Okay. Um, and death is on page 28, which reduces to a one. That's fucking dope. Because I've said before that, um, 28, two plus eight is 10. And I've told you guys that tens are beginnings and the endings. And this literally says that. That's fucking dope. I wonder if they did that on purpose or I just noticed it. Okay, so death is an illusion. It's a fact of life that the human body we use to travel this earth must eventually stop working. True. It's not meant to exist forever. The energy and consciousness that is inhabited, that body is free and returns to its natural home. But it never abandons us. Learn to view death as merely a change. I should always tell y'all that. That's fucking crazy. And everything must change. I just said that. <laughs> Because stagnancy dis ex extinguishes progress. The same is true for a relationship or a career. A soul lesson may be completed, and it is time to move beyond this point of familiarity and expand into new horizons of learning and development. This is a wonderful opportunity to thank those other souls in your life who have shared part of your path and taught you so much. Fuck, that was good. All right, Gemini's. <sighs> See, it's not so bad when you read it. Like, when I actually read it out of the book, it doesn't sound so grim. The Four of Pentacles, these were just on the top. And the Fool, new beginnings, Gemini's. But someone could be resisting change, which is the same energy I got from the last read. Um, someone resisting change. Four of Swords. Mm -hmm. Now, are you holding back on something, Gemini's? Oop. Ten of Swords and the Lovers. Now, for some of you, this is a love situation. Four of Wands on the bottom. Now, as I've said uh, before, endings doesn't necessarily mean, or, or death doesn't necessarily mean I'm getting choked up. Somebody's person's coming through. Death doesn't necessarily mean that um, it's over. But sometimes death is change, like the book said, and like I, like I always tell you guys. Something that has to change, and I feel like something here has to change. Now, the Ten of Swords isn't always bad, okay? Um, because you see there's this sunlight here. It's like these dark, this darkness is kind of floating away, and you're starting to see this light back here. So there's always... 
um, a light at the end of the tunnel, even when you um, are at this state. So I feel like you may have hit rock bottom in a connection or with a lover, Gemini's, and you may feel like it's totally over. But when you're in this state, you can't go anywhere but down. And this is a 10. The 10 of swords is still a 10. And people fear this card because of how it looks. And, you know, this this person is dead, dead, okay? <laughs> but the best thing that this person can do is go and float up to heaven, right? And then have their soul reincarnated. But they're not done forever, right? They might be done in this body. You see what I'm saying? I hope what I'm saying is making sense because sometimes I'll be saying shit and I'll be sounding like some kind of crackhead on the street. So, also, you guys... Um, if you've never noticed this hand symbol that he has, you see that? I don't know if I could, if it's close enough. Okay, I'm too close. He has this hand symbol, and I wish I was live so I could ask y'all questions and stuff, but think about it for a second. What other card has that hand symbol? There's actually two other cards that has it. Um, but what other card, what other card has that hand symbol where the hand symbol is like this? It's the Hierophant. And a lot of people don't notice that, but of course I'm big on images and I actually study tarot, even though I've been, you know, I've been doing tarot for a long time. And that's why it's always good to learn tarot from someone that reads and not just the internet, because the internet always gives you very basic general meanings to cards. Sometimes this card can be a blessing in disguise because this hand symbol means a blessing, a divine blessing uh, coming in. As so, uh, as so above, so below, which is the two fingers up and then the two facing down, just like the magician. So, uh, Gemini, like I said, sometimes this card is a blessing in disguise. So something happened um, to make a situation better. Something happened kind of in the, the, the same way as a tower. To come back better, Gemini's, because you can't get any, you you don't get any lower than this. <laughs> okay, it it doesn't exist. All right. So yeah, Gemini. So that doesn't mean necessarily mean that whatever this love situation is or this partnership is over per se, but I feel like it's going to be whenever it returns, it's going to be different. And as I said, tens are beginning are the beginning and the end. Okay, so. Um, whatever this is, will will come back different. Doesn't mean it's over. Now, for some of you, it is over. The emperor, child. For some of you, it's not over. <laughs> so, what's interesting about this, uh, Gemini's, with this emperor here? Um, yeah, someone's having a hard time with releasing you, letting you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone feels like they're like your person. Someone feels like they're, um, you might be seeing four, 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 because I'm seeing a lot of fours. Fours are about stability, foundation. Um, also, the death in the tarot is 13, which reduces down to a four. So you have the four of wands, the four of swords, the four of pentacles, and the emperor, which is four in the, the uh, major arcana. So there's something here that is um, requiring some grounding from you, Gemini's, but it could also be someone in your energy that is learning to get more grounded. Um, and again, I am kind of seeing someone here that is um, might be being forced to change, uh, Gemini's, which is kind of the same energy that I got in the last reading. Let me go on through this reading and quit talking so much. <laughs> Okay. The Seven of Pentacles. Oh, Gemini. Someone, something's getting ready to come to fruitation for you. Yep. Nine of Pentacles. Yep. Something's getting ready to come to fruitation for you, Gemini's. It's going to feel new. It's going to feel um, the High Priestess. Yeah. It's going to feel the moon. Um... The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. So, first of all, I feel like, like I said, something is coming to rotation in your life and it's going to feel new with this full card here. Um, 
Because like a lot of times the Seven of Pentacles is about seeing the fruits of your labor. So I feel like, Gemini, something you've been putting a lot into, you're about to start seeing some growth from it. You see how he got that little plant there? He's like, yes, look. Look what I've made. Look what I've created. Yeah, for some of you, this is a connection. A lot of you, you are spiritually tied to a person as well, um, Gemini's. And I feel like someone is is needing to learn to exercise their intuition as well. Yeah, someone is um, someone is learning to navigate their emotions, uh, Gemini's. The, now the moon and the lovers gives me a vibe of like a like a romantic vibe. Someone wanting to be like ro more romantic with you. Um, they may have not before because of some like negative thinking. The ten of swords can be about negative thinking. Also, the ten of swords can be like um, someone that wants attention because the ten of swords gives me like a like a dramatic effect uh, effect effect Gemini. So someone may feel like you're dramatic. Or you're overly emotional, or this person is overly emotional. But it makes sense why someone might need grounding. Gemini's, you might be the one that needs grounding. Okay, because someone I feel like is, is their emotions are kind of all over the place. But I do feel like someone is learning how to tame that. And it could be you, um, Gemini's, that's, that's going through that. But I feel like, especially with this Courage card here, Gemini's, I, I feel like... You can be over emotional sometimes, but I'm a firm believer in, in getting out how you feel. Like, you got to get that shit out. So, I mean, that's just me, Gemini's. I feel like, Gemini, something is about to change with this connection. That This is just the vibe that I'm getting. Whatever is going on, if it's not a connection, it's, it's a work situation or a business or whatever, I feel like something is about to change. And you know it. You can feel you can feel something around you is changing. And it, when we talked about that Knight of Swords, yeah, y'all got a person, a legit person. There's that fucking devil again. Y'all have a legit person coming towards you. We talked about the the uh, Jupiter and Tor Jupiter going into Tor Taurus last week, and that's going to be a lot of marriages because Taurus is about stability. Um, What's interesting about that is the Four of Pentacles is Taurus, yes. Taurus can also be about ownership, too. So, you know, it would make sense, kind of how I got the vibe in the last room, if somebody feels like they own you, which isn't totally bad. Okay, I'll, I'll go deeper into that another time. But, uh, yeah, Gemini's, I feel like with the, especially with this transit, and I told a lot of y'all, in the yearly spread, beginning of the year, that a lot of you guys are going to be getting married or getting engaged this year. Yeah. And a lot of you have emailed me and told me that you have. So congrats to you guys, even though I didn't get an invitation, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Ooh! <laughs> the King of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers again, you guys. Whoa, I feel like Gemini's someone is going to like either say that they love you or someone's going to start showing you love. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a person because I'm seeing something coming to fruitation for you. So it could be that you meet somebody, you know, could be a Scorpio. You meet someone that is loving and open and. Well, I don't want to say open, but <laughs> the King of Cups shows his love, not necessarily tells you, but, you know, the King of Cups is, is very mature and balanced. Um, so that would make sense if if this is a person. For some of you, your, your person was needing to get more grounded because their emotions were all over the place. High emotions. I feel like someone is finding some type of peace. Um, Gemini's could be you could be them but I, I I feel like it's both of you like both of you are going to come to some type of middle ground in this connection Gemini's because I feel like you two feel very deeply for each other and I feel like neither one of you want to give up like neither one of you want to uh give up the connection but you you both know that something has to change you both know
The Knight of Swords can also be about courage. Child, the fucking tower. <sighs> the Ten of fucking Pentacles again, you guys. Someone fell in love with you. Someone fell in love. For others of you, I feel like you may have ended things with this person and it caused a tower moment for them. And now they're like, I can't lose Gemini. Like, I can't. I can't lose Gemini. That that's that's the vibe I'm getting here. Somebody, if if you're not talking to someone, Gemini's, they are they're going through it. They are in fucking shambles. They may not show that, but they're in shambles over this, uh, Gemini's. They're very torn up over it. Yep. But whatever this is, I feel like it's going it's it'll come back together. I, f I feel like whatever tower happened, it had to. And that's just bottom line. For others of you, if you don't want to go back to a person, I'm seeing a new person. So always take these how they resonate. The ending of one connection for another one that is better suited for you. Because look at him. <laughs> oh gosh I'm only going to do a few of these let's do 6 I'm seeing 11 11 with the cards I'll read them in a second I don't need that many of these <clears throat> wow lots of energy of um of uh, fears again, like lots of mm, lots of things talking about fear, which makes sense. It, it makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, so this one we have, we incarnated together to clear specific patterns from our ancestral bloodline. Then y'all just get this card, child. I'm telling you, it's there's a force force change that's going on here, Gemini's. Like this, whoever this is is gonna have to change. It could be you, it could be both of you, um, Gemini's. All right, so I'm afraid you're going to meet someone else before I'm ready to be with you for good. This makes so much. This goes in line with the other reading that I posted. Y'all go check out the other reading because I said exactly that. I long for your kisses and your touch. Oh, I'm not going to give in to fear. I know fear is only an illusion. Holy shit! Didn't it just say that? You're projecting your own fears and limitations onto me. Go within to understand why you are seeing yourself, not me. Ooh. <laughs> now that could be either one of you. Because I feel like you two mirror each other. A lot. But I'm seeing a lot of shit that got to do with fears. And we have this courage card here. because it. So I feel like both of you have fears. Of being hurt. Of being taken advantage of. Or whatever the case may be. Um, Gemini's, especially if this person has hurt you before. Um, love like ours can change the world. <sighs> I'm afraid this relationship is too good to be true and I'll pull away in fear. More fear, fear, fear. Gemini's, I'm changing this pattern and moving forward. I told you, you ha they have to change. I'm saying you like I'm talking to them. Now, I, I could be talking to you. You have to change. You're going to have to. Well, if you don't, then that's when the tower comes. All right? Hit those likes, Geminis. Hit those subscribes. Thank you for watching. Peace out.